here today uh, uh, we shall be developing we shall be developing we shall be developing lag variable so that is our plan we shall be developing lag variable that is the plan of today okay and here you, uh, you can see we have a uh, few variable such as uh, we can see few variables such as cons GDP and import okay what I am doing I am making it zoom so that you can see better yeah. so we have three variables cons cons GDP and import IMP so I have these three variables okay so meaning that three variables one is cons what does mean by cons cons means consumption right consumption and the second one is the GDP that is gross domestic product then IMP what is IMP IMP means import okay sorry uh, sorry this means import okay now I shall be creating the I, I shall be creating the lag variable that is our plan okay so suppose I choose uh, cons what is cons cons means okay I choose GDP GDP that is gross domestic product and I shall be creating lag 1 GDP and lag 2 GDP so 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 first I create the folder then I can create the lag 1 GDP and lag 2 GDP okay first I create the folder I click on the mouse then I choose new object then here is series right here is series right I choose series and the name of the new folder or the name of the new variable is lag1 GDP lag1 GDP lag1 GDP right so that is my first variable I am creating so then I press ok okay so you can see lag one has been created here right lag one has been created here okay then I also create lag two in the same way I click on the mouse then I choose new object then I choose series right I choose series what is called series it means variable here series means variable so new variable is lag to GDP that is the new variable lag to GDP okay then I press ok so here you can see all the variables have been created okay I'm doing a zoom here you can see can see that is number one variable consumption GDP import lag one GDP lag two GDP all the variables have been created okay okay now the question is that what does mean by lag one GDP because the variable has been created but what does mean by lag one GDP lag one GDP means GDP one period lag so the command is like this the command in e view would be like this GDP one period lag that means one period one period lag period that means previous one period past one period past one period 
okay after writing this command I take the cursor here and I press enter okay okay then the second one so as a result lag one GDP has been created created here lag one GDP has been created here okay now I create lag two GDP right how the same procedure lag two GDP means equal to GDP lag two minus two so that is my new variable lag two GDP right so here here I take the I take the cursor here and then enter so 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 you must know the way I am doing otherwise you cannot create the variable you must take the cursor here take the cursor here and then you should enter only then the variable will be created okay now you can see from here okay the first variable here I take GDP what is GDP that variable in the current period that is GDP and what about the lag one GDP it means that it is GDP one period past one period lag and what about the second one lag two GDP that means two period in the past so now I can open all the three three variable jointly then uh, from here you can see the whole things the first one is the GDP that is current period right and lag one GDP is one period lag meaning that this 4021 has come here this one has come here and in this way this one has come here but this one has been disappeared completely from the from lag one GDP okay then how to make lag to GDP just the same way you bring 4021 here then 4230 here and 43221 it has come here but 5021 has been disappeared completely from lag to GDP so here I have three variable one is GDP that is current period and that is one period lag of GDP and that is two period past of the GDP or two period lag of GDP so in this way you can develop lag 3 GDP lag 4 GDP and so on okay okay so here so this is our variable now so you can see we have how many variable one two three four five total five variables are here okay I can make it zoom for you you can see there are five variables cons GDP import lag one GDP lag two GDP and so on if you want you can also create lag one cons variable lag two cons variable you can also create lag one import variable lag two import variable so it is up to you you can easily do it but here I have only created 
lag value of GDP. Okay. okay, now with this all variable, I can develop a model if I want. Okay, suppose I develop a model now with this uh, five variable. Okay, I can do that. I go to quick, right? I go to quick and I choose estimate model. Okay, then I put all the variable. Suppose GDP is the dependent variable. Then I put C, right? Then I put lag one GDP. Then I, I put lag two GDP. And we have uh, we have we have a, 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 another another two variable one is cons and one is import so this is our model and here gdp is the dependent variable and c is the constant and others are independent variable so i can make a zoom for you the total model here GDP consumption lag 1 GDP lag 2 GDP consumption and import and here the GDP is the dependent variable right okay then I can run this model I can run this model so I just press ok here so this is my model right this is the estimated model you can see the here the GDP is the dependent variable right GDP is the dependent variable and these are all independent variables right okay mm. Okay, so so this is my model. Okay, okay, what we can do, we can develop the same model in other way, and other way will be more simpler, more easier, such as, such as. Okay, I go to estimate, right? Okay, here, here, what I do, that the same model I can develop in the easier way you just write it I just write this way GDP then C then GDP lag 1 GDP lag 2 then import then consumption right so here here I'm not creating any lag variable here I'm not creating lag of lag of GDP I'm not creating just I'm putting the command here and you can get the same result without creating the lag variable the way I have done you just write the command in this way you can get the same result okay I can make a zoom for you here you can see so here I put GDP and GDP 1 period lag GDP 2 period lag import and consumption so here I'm not creating I'm not creating any lag variable so I can get the same result without creating any lag variable okay I estimate this model I estimate this model so I go to I go to okay and the model has been estimated you can see from here and the result would be the same as before 
result would be the same as before no doubt about it 